Hi guys, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chem professor. I work with uh, renewable fuels, uh, octane boosters, and uh, biopolymers, bioplastics technology. Here I have a new polymer, polymer I prepared just a couple of days ago. It's a polyester polyamide ter polymer of citric acid, glycerol, and six amino caproic acid. Uh, I'll give you the details on how I prepared it and you can see right now that uh, after uh, cooling down the room temperature it's uh, a glass like amber polymer. I want to heat it up now on a watch glass and uh, get an idea of softening point and uh, its properties. So I'm heating it up with a Fisher burner here just gently and uh, get an idea of uh, what it takes to soften this. All right. Let's see if we get anywhere with this. It's smoking a little bit. We'll let that cool down. And, uh, okay. Drop it down there. See if I stretch it out. Hold on one sec. Yep, there it goes. Give it a little more heat. Okay. Heat it up a little bit more. I'm doing this with one hand, but you'll get an idea from this what I'm trying to do. Okay. Put that to the side. Prod it off. Ah, there we go. Let's see if you can see that. So I'm up above the, uh, well above the uh, glass point, which is, uh, oh, down around uh, room temperature or so and that's softening up nice into a nice film. We're interested in the physical chemical properties and also the biodegradation rates. I'll be working on that with one of my colleagues in microbiology. But I can stretch that out pretty good. And this, I believe, is a new polymer. Let's bring it over here. Oh, I like the properties of that. Artificial blood vessels, all types of applications. So. Uh, Anyway, I'll give you a rough idea. I'll give you the link to my website, too. Not the greatest film, but at least it'll give you an idea of what's going on. Now, let's finish off by putting it back on the plate. And uh, I'll break some of that off, put it back on there, and uh, let me heat it again. You can see it's softening on the top already. I'll have to put this on a tripod. I'll redo the film. And, uh, you know, it's burning over on the side there. Can you see it? Uh, some smoke, but clean. Okay. Let me grab my spatula. Take a look at this. Spread it out. All right. Let me stretch it out. Hold on. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me. We'll get a better film made here, but uh, I stretched it out, which would be good, for example, if I want to run a Fourier transform in for red, and uh, I want to do a DSC on it, differential scanning calorimetry, and other tests as well. And uh, my colleague will be looking at a microbe uh, within the species of Pseudomonas to see how readily this breaks down. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.